Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Wednesday, June 22nd. Los Cabos Mayor Oscar Lex Castro confirmed that the incorporation into urban areas of the sections of the Transpeninsular Highway known as the Corridor from El Tesal to Cabo San Lucas and from Cerro Colorado to San Jose del Cabo will be ready in July. Mayor Lex added that among the actions to guarantee the safety and fluidity of the four-lane road, returns will be established to be opened in case of emergency, in addition to the coverage of police and civil protection units on the highway. Mayor Lex said that the work groups have been developing a strategy and it includes the establishment of urban zones starting in July and the implementation of returns that will be open only in case of emergencies or incidents that put free transit at risk. Oscar Lex also confirmed that Fonatur has replied to advance in the executive projects for the roundabout traffic solution in San Jose del Cabo. In addition, in Cabo San Lucas, the private sector will sponsor and fund the new crossing at La San Luqueña. In other news, the Los Cabos municipal government has been holding regular meetings with foreign residents of the municipality through the Directorate of Tourism in collaboration with the municipal subdelegates. The goal of these meetings is to establish open channels of communication for the foreign members of our community to learn and solve the problems that they face in their daily routines. This is part of the commitments made by Los Cabos Mayor Oscar Les Castro to include all members of our community in the decisions taken by his administration. In this regard, the coordinator of attention to foreign residents, Noemi Romero Guzman, explained that the office in her charge focuses in listening and addressing the problems experienced by the more than 14,000 foreign residents in Los Cabos. Romero added that the number of foreign residents in Los Cabos is growing at a rate of 1,000 to 1,500 people every six months, according to data from the National Migration Institute. And she remarked that her office receives all complaints, suggestions, and projects, and then directs them to the proper authorities to provide prompt and expeditious answers and solutions. And finally, in news brought to you by Gringo Gazette, During the ninth summit of the Americas, the Baja California Sur state government signed an agreement with Airbnb to promote Los Cabos as the ideal destination for digital nomads. This was announced earlier this month during the summit of the Americas that took place in Los Angeles, California, where the Airbnb platform and the government of Baja California Sur announced a strategic alliance to strengthen the reactivation of tourism in the state by promoting it as one of the most important hubs in Latin America for digital nomads. In this sense, Maribel Colin Sanchez, head of the Ministry of Tourism and Economy for Baja California Sur, CETUE for a tracronym in Spanish, pointed out that currently tens of millions of people have the opportunity to work from anywhere in the world, travel at all times, and stay longer in the place of their choice. According to Airbnb, in the first quarter of 2022, long-term stays registered their highest point, more than double that of the same period in 2019, and continue to represent around 20% of the nights booked. The tourism promotion campaign announced as part of this alliance will focus on this new type of traveler with the purpose of contributing to economic development and stimulating investment in Baja California Sur. Collins said that Setúes is very pleased to work together with Airbnb to attract travelers who want to make Baja California Sur their temporary home while working and traveling throughout the state. The flexibility that digital nomads have allows them to live like locals when they arrive at a destination, which directly contributes to connecting with communities and stimulating the local economy while promoting a valuable cultural exchange between residents, hosts, and travelers from around the world. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great evening and remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Riggs and Claudia Bello.